Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of um, Terry Mugler's A Infusion. I think it's Terry Mugler. I know it's Mugler. I think it's Terry. I'm sure it's Terry Mugler. <laughs> this is Alien Fusion and this is the flanker from the original Alien. There's quite a few flankers from this one. But this is the first Terry Mugler perfume that I actually like. I also like Aurora as well, but I couldn't buy both of them because I've not made that money. I mean, this 30 mil cost me 49 quid. I mean, I'll get it at some point. But I only like, I only like the toilet version of that one. But anyway, let's get into how I normally do. These, so this is what the box looks like. So it just says Alien Fusion, Mugler, and this is a Parfum. And as I said, it is 30 mil, and the sides kind of like this textured feeling sort of you know it reminds me a little bit like wrapping paper christmas wrapping paper or i mean you could say birthday wrapping paper but the red gives it more like christmas Eve. and then obviously you've all seen the iconic alien bottle and it's in the same um alien design it's just a different color so instead of purple it is this it's like a reddish hot pink color it's not like a hundred percent hang on using the face. It's not like a hundred percent too red, but it is kind of um like a reddish um hot pink colour. And then um at the side it says alien. You might or may not be able to see that. Alien and then it has some weird like um symbols there. Um, but yeah, so it's a pretty cool bottle, and um, I don't know if it's just because of, cause it's a small one, but it doesn't have a lid. I don't think all the big ones don't have a lid anyway. It's just a spray like that, so you do have to be careful with it when you're travelling. It's not like the um, Nina Ritchie ones where um, it comes with a little stopper thing, so you can attach it if you're travelling with it, and it won't accidentally press down. But to be fair, the shape of this, I doubt it's you know it's rare it's going to happen but do be careful with it so the notes of this fragrance so the notes contain so the top notes contain ginger cinnamon middle notes are orange blossom tuberose and base note is white amber which we all know that amber is my true my new sort of favorite fragrance note um along with yasmin i have a lot of fragrances with yasmin in it um but yeah, I, really, I especially really like amber in um, aftershaves. And then it contains vanilla. For a designer perfume, this is probably the first designer perfume where the notes are really simple. There's not a lot going on. But oh my god, spoiler alert, I love this freaking perfume so much. So when you first spray this, the perfume, you get that ginger note. So you get the spice notes that come in straight away. The ginger, the cinnamon, especially the cinnamon. That comes in and then as it goes dry, goes dry, as it starts to dry down, the floral notes come in as well. So you get that spicy floral scent. The floral does eventually take over the spicy spell, so you don't really get that much spice. It's more than turns into like heavily floral fragrance, but not like overly heavily, if that makes any sense. Like it's not like i hate using this term but it's not like old person floral because i know some people don't like really floral scents because it reminds them of old people fragrances which is so offensive but whatever we'll get we're going with that terminology so you do get that floral but it's not quite it's not like you know over overly flat over floral but floral but it is floral so you might not like it if you do not like floral at all <coughs> also as it goes through you get the amber it also it's like a sweet floral as well so it's not like it's not too sweet either it's like a subtle sweet it's not overly sweet it's probably um like le probably the least very sweet fragrance that i own that is sweet if that makes any sense so it's slightly sweet but not overly sweet it's not like sickly sweet if that makes any sense so i said as it goes dry that goes dry down it goes through that one um that white amber and that vanilla and that vanilla just makes the perfume creamy i love fragrances that have vanilla in it because when a fragrance has vanilla in it it kind of makes the kind of makes the sort of the whole scent like creamy if that makes any sense like it might makes it smell kind of smooth <laughs> i'm probably not making any sense by that but you get what i mean it's like a it cream 
it's it makes the scent creamy. If you know what, I'm gonna shut up. I can't explain anything. <laughs> so in the end, you get that floral scent as well with the white amber. But as I said, it's not heavy, heavy, heavy floral. But you, know, it is a floral fragrance. So if you do like floral, then you're not gonna, you might not like this at all. This is definitely a fragrance that you'd wear if you're going out. I usually don't categorise fragrances, but this, when I wore this to work, I felt a little bit too overdone, if that makes any sense. I mean, how can you feel overdone with fragrance? But it kind of feels a little, like, overdone. And, you know what I mean? Like, it's not really a fragrance you'd wear if you work in a fast food place, basically. It's definitely a fragrance more for, like, going out for meals and, like, night time if that makes any sense but yeah i really love this fragrance and it lasts really well as well so just as a summary when you first spray you get the spicy notes it's quite a spicy fragrance at the beginning but then the florals come in and then take over this spiciness and um, it is a little sweet but not too sweet it's just enough sweet sweet so if you're somebody who's not a massive fan of overly sweet scents don't worry this isn't overly sweet um so as it dries down, as it goes dries down, you get to the white amber, the villa, and the vanilla smooths everything out. It makes it a little bit creamy, um, but yeah, it's a beautiful fragrance. I really, really love it. I love it. I love it so much. It's the first alien fragrance that I actually like. I don't like the original. I can't compare it. I was meant to say at the beginning before, you know, before I do this video. I'm not comparing it to the other alien because I haven't got that with me. And I, I just don't like it. I'm, you know what I mean? I can't really compare. I'm not going to buy a perfume that I don't like. I've not received like a free sample of it or anything like that. But yeah, that is it for this review. So bye guys.